Hey there, code aficionados. It's your favorite code maestro, Big Papa Code, and today we're venturing into the vast expanse of IPFS. Fasten those seatbelts because we're going on an interplanetary mic journey, metaphorically speaking, of course. Now, IPFS, or Interplanetary File System, is a protocol designed for the decentralized storage and sharing of data across a peer-to-peer network. Instead of relying on location-based addressing like URLs, IPFS uses content-based addressing where data is retrieved using a unique cryptographic hash. This system ensures data integrity as any change in the content generates a different hash. Underlying IPFS is the Merkle DAG, a data structure that allows for the efficient organization and retrieval of information. The decentralized nature of IPFS makes it resilient against single points of failure, promoting both redundancy and distribution of data across its global network of nodes. Now, if you got that, what you talking about Willis face on, let's explain it in a different way. Picture the internet as an endless universe. In our traditional, centralized web cosmos, it's like craving a Big Mac and always having to fly to one specific McDonald's in this entire universe to get it. What if that lone McDonald's shuts down its golden arches, or heaven forbid, runs out of those secret sauces? Absolute Mc disaster, right? This is the drama when all our data hangs out at one centralized place, be it Google, Amazon, or others. If they decide to shut the drive through window on you, you're just McStranded. Enter IPFS, the Interplanetary File System. Think of IPFS as a universe, brimming with McDonald's outlets. No lone point of McFailure, and virtually a McDonald's at every cosmic corner. If one isn't serving, just float over to the next star. Now you might be thinking, IPFS sounds cool, But how would I actually use it? How would I upload something to IPFS? Well, now let's say you snap a pic of that perfect Big Mac to cherish forever. Uploading it to IPFS? Simple. Think of it as chopping that Big Mac photo into tiny McBits and scattering them to friends across stars and planets. Each McBit gets a unique tag, a hash. Instead of yelling, fetch my Big Mac snap from Saturn, you merely say, serve me that pink with hash ABC. IPFS crew swiftly track down that juicy bite, no matter which celestial body it's on, and whiz it straight to you. This tech buddies is termed content-based addressing. Old school web is all location, location, location. IPFS, it's about the content not where it's stored. You won't say HTTP colon slash slash superman.com mick up and away dot JPG. Instead, you're like, yo, give me this cool picture of Superman flying over McDonald's. Another IPFS cornerstone is its distributed network layer, a vast grid of nodes or computers running IPFS with each node stocking some of IPFS's network data or some even with all network data. These nodes store and serve content authenticated by cryptographic hashing. All the node has to do is figure out if it's got a piece of the requested puzzle, then give it back to you. No central server needed. And you'll get your pickup lickety split, no matter which node serves up the goods. And these nodes can be operated by any human being on the planet. So isn't that amazing? And that's it. That's IPFS. I trust you relished our cosmic cruise through IPFS. Sharing the tech galaxy with you, always a make delight. Smash that like button, subscribe, and share this with all your tech buddies. Until next time, my friends, keep those brackets in line, and may your code be ever bug-free. Peace.